If you're suffering from Lyme, uh, mold, histamine intolerance, heavy metals, uh, a mystery in your body, you just don't know what's gone wrong, please give me a minute and um, let me tell you my story. Um, my name's Rochelle Starling and I am 51 years young and I'm a retired uh, police officer from Florida and a co-owner in our family fishing business. Um, and been dealing with the health journey for 19 months now. Um, and uh, it's been a journey. <laughs> uh, January 9th of 22, I was sitting on the couch and my family was actually home that day. We have a small family, but I couldn't breathe. Uh, had nothing like this before and didn't understand it. I could not get that deep, clear breath. It, it literally felt as if I was dying. And I know a lot of people that are hopefully will watch this, will, they understand. They've gone through the same things. Uh, pulse very high. And when I say I couldn't move, when I say that I was literally in bed debilitated, from a person who five years prior had been living a clean life. And so something was awry, you know, and I knew that and I wasn't taking, you know, this wrong answer or that wrong answer uh, for my answer because it wasn't and I knew it. We have a very close friend uh, that's a heart surgeon um, and he was beside himself that he just could not tell me what was wrong with my body and uh, pulmonary, ENT, uh, allergy specialists. Um, but the medicinal side of things, for me, were answers of exclusion. And I'm grateful for that. No, it's not this. No, it's not that. But we learned that I've, I'm dealing with mold. Uh, we found black mold in our home, hiding behind the walls. You know, you have a clean home, but you don't know what you don't know. And I'm so grateful to my husband who just, out of desperation to help me, he took a sledgehammer and, you know, went through the walls. And that's when we found it. Of course, we did all the right things after that, but we did remediation. For us, it didn't help. We learned I have the MTHFR gene. You're more susceptible to be um, sense um, the mold you could be around the same mold. Toxic mold's not good for anybody, of course, but you could be around it more. Your bucket's a lot bigger than mine is if you don't have that gene. Um, I did, and I was extremely symptomatic from it. Um, I had POTS from it, uh, but then we found out also I'm dealing with heavy metals. When you feel as if your body is dying, and when you say I feel, when I say that you feel, you don't feel here, you literally feel it physically that your body's needing help and you just don't know what to give it. And our bodies are made to heal, but sometimes that toxic burden bucket is so full, as I've learned, um, that that overflowing is where I was. And um, stress is a huge part of it. You don't realize that. We, when, you're, when you're a dominant A personality and you come from a background like I do, you just muddle through the stress of life. You don't realize the toll that it's taken on your body until it's hitting you in the face. You don't really understand the totality of that. And I did pretty quickly. It did lead me um, to a, um, a social media support group uh, for mold toxicity. And I happened to scroll and I saw a word that was capitalized and that didn't make sense to me because it was in the middle of a sentence and the word was biologics. So it caught my eye, I read it, and that's what led me to, um, uh, that's how I found biologics. And I'm so grateful, uh, again, as a Christian, I just think it was another God thing. So after I found biologics, I knew from my research that what I was dealing with um, could be addressed here. So the mold, uh, the lime, um, with the tinctures addressing heavy metals, 
uh, my mercury was off the chart. My lead was off the chart. Histamine intolerance. Um, the pots at the beginning, which I did work through, but you never know if that's going to come back. Uh, as a Christian, I was looking for um, the, a path to healing that was more uh, natural for me because that's kind of the way I've tried to live. And so every bullet point that I was looking for, the more I researched biologics, again, I, I have a research background, um, so it, I, I had to delve into it and say, is this the person for me in prayer? Is this where I need to go? Um, and everything that I researched, all of the YouTube videos I watched, all of the testimonials, um, I thought this might be the place. From that, I researched the science behind Dr. Jernigan and biologics. And um, I don't have a medical background, uh, but everything that I found, I was able to vet. And when you're at a place where you are literally not able to function, when just five days prior you were a professional woman, um, you need help now. And that's where I was. So the care here has been everything. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that Dr. Jernigan has a Christian base for his science and understanding. Um, so that was first and foremost for me personally. Um, and then over and beyond that, he's, they're looking at the spiritual, um, the, the physical and the mental, because we are that entity. That's how God made us, you know? So you can't focus on one and not the other because it creates, it's imbalance is what it is. Uh, so we've addressed that here. I'm very grateful uh, for that. So it, the understanding here is, is so um, instrumental in healing because you don't have to question what are the motives here? Do they understand? You just know right off from the phone conversations that they do understand. Um, so you walk in with your mind at ease that, you know, we're going to deal, focus on healing. I don't have to convince this medical expert of, of something. And I'm thankful to my family. That's huge, you know. And, and, and let me say this. I, I, it's not lost on me that a lot of people don't have the support that I had. Um, that's huge. And my heart and prayers go out to those that don't have that at home. But be, be proactive for you, for you, because you're worth it, you know. Um, we're meant to live this life well, not to exist. Because again, another thing that a lot of people are saying is I just don't have the money. I get it. <laughs> You can have excellent insurance like we do, and it do nothing <laughs> because it, insurance doesn't recognize this healing, which is a crime in itself. But um, uh, so yeah, so we know it's all out of pocket. What's the point in money if you're not well enough to spend it? I get it. If you have kids, um, I was blessed that my child is older. I didn't have that, and again, that's not lost on me. If you have kids and you're worried about them. If you're not well, it doesn't matter. Have somebody watch your kids for two weeks. Focus on you. If you're not well, you're not gonna be there for your babies. Don't give up and keep pushing. And I, my push landed me here. And I am forever grateful for Dr. Jernigan's science. Um, I know unbiased, Comparatives, I know it worked. I know. Again, with my background, I have to give credit where it's due. If, if, it, if the science works, the science works. And um, I wanted to tell others to give them the hope. I am very, very happy to say that um, this is my recheck week. I came for two weeks. Uh, that was what we deemed was very necessary for me, two weeks. And um, when I went home, I went to another specialist of mine and, uh, that I travel four and a half hours every week to go to for um, uh, part of my healing. And I asked him, I said, look, I want an independent 
lab that biologics is not involved in uh, to see if the phage therapy and the other therapies that are here, the tinctures that are made specifically for my body, uh, which is the heart, obviously, of Dr. Jernigan's science, I wanted an unbiased, is, did it work? And so we drew a lab specifically for mold, not just a blood test, but through a company that, that does that. So we had my before and after to, for comparative. And the mold is gone. <laughs> the mold is gone. I have, I have my, my lab's paperwork. Anybody that would like to reach out, I would be happy to share it with anyone. Um, so please let that be a thread of hope to anybody that would see this. Well, so back to the Lyme. I did another independent test with my doctor. They had no idea here that I was doing it. We went back to Florida and I said, you know, we did the test for the mold, but what about the Lyme? I did not expect to see what I saw when I got the Lyme report back. I have that here as well. The Lyme is almost gone, 95% uh, where we went to get this is, is one of the top ones in the country. So I uh, uh, had faith in that testing. That company has been doing it for a long time. And um, you know, you have green, you have yellow and you have red. Red you don't wanna see. Green you wanna see, of course. I have no red. I have all green except three in the yellow. And when I say except three, I mean three pages full of these markers for Borrelia this and this and the cofactors. And I have three and they're very minimal. That was so encouraging. And when I got both of those, of course, I cried immediately, you know, just thanking, as a Christian, thanking the Lord uh, for leading me there. Uh, and, um, and again, Dr. Farney and Dr. Jernigan, I knew at what point the shift happened for me and my body. And it was after here. It was after this. So um, did, we, did I implement things that we built on? Sure, just like everybody else, because you're not going to sit. You, you have to do something for your body. When you can't breathe, um, when you can't function, when you are debilitated, when your heart rate is beating out of your chest, when you don't understand it, when you can't even stand up without help, uh, when you can't consume what you've been consuming and then all of a sudden it's a problem and you've eaten this thing for all these, all of these things need immediate attention in some form or another. How do we immediately deal with this? But you have to make sure you get that help from the right places and vet those places. And I'm just grateful that it led me here.